Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here, once again. Finally, we are going to play Shenmue 2. And no, we don't want to do the Shenmue 1 file link thing. Right. If you're unaware of all these friggin' delays I've been having, I can't be bothered to reiterate them at the moment. So I'll just say we're finally, finally gonna play Shenmue 2 on the Dreamcast, where it was meant to be. Okay. Whew. It has been crazy trying to do this LP, that's all I'll say. I mean, it came in the post today and I sat down to do it, and what happened? A freaking friend came over! Right, hopefully this copy doesn't crash on me. And if it does crash, or some bullshit happens, I swear to god, someone really, really, really doesn't want me to do this LP. But you can't stop me! You can't stop me from doing Shenmue 2! Nobody can stop me from doing Shenmue 2! Nobody! Right, let's talk about the fucking game. Uh, if you remember at the end of Shenmue 1, uh, which I LP'd in the past, uh, Ryo has just gotten on the boat, there's Ryo there, just gotten on the boat to Hong Kong to find the man who killed his father. Uh, he has to go find the master called Tao Li Shou, or uh, Li Shao Tao, as, she, as uh, it's pronounced in this game. I uh, don't know why they pronounced it differently. They just did. But whatever. We've got to find this person. Excuse me. Forklifts! Don't tell me we gotta do more forklift driving! No, we don't. Like, fuck. Right. And yes, like I said earlier, this is gonna be the Dreamcast version. This is the version I am dying to do, even though I've got the Xbox version here. The only difference is that this is in Japanese and the Xbox version is in English, but the Xbox, the voice acting, well. I don't hate the voice acting in a in a Shenmue one, you know, for the Dreamcast. That voice acting's okay, I quite like it. But in Shenmue two on the Xbox it's so laughably bad, I'm sorry. So as a result I just prefer this version a lot and I love Dreamcast, you know. Alright, here we go. Let's do what the letter tells us. I remember the first time I played this actually and I was saying to myself, wait a minute, Ryo's speaking Japanese. No, no, I don't want this. Why is Ryo speaking Japanese? Mom, why is Ryo speaking Japanese? But I came to accept it afterwards. Okay, we take three steps and here's our first cutscene. Damn it, I have played through the beginning of this game so many times over the past couple of weeks. I can't wait to get to a better par actually. That's your parents there, isn't it? You're just trying to sucker in people. But we're nice, so we'll put monies in. Wait, I didn't want to put ten dollars in, I was just gonna put five dollars in. No, I checked I changed my mind! No! Jeez, is it Wanzai? Wanchai to you basho sagasti mas. Wanchai, yeah, well Wanchai nara achi. Right, this is the first of many people who tell real where Wanchai is. Literally there's four. Christ. Yeah, he still needs to get told all the fucking time. And here we got another cutscene! Yeah, Shenmue's pretty much as bad as uh, Metal Gear Solid when it comes to cutscenes. Handsome boy! Well, this is interesting, actually. Watch carefully. 
This, uh, well, I'll explain actually. There was a part cut, I read there a wee while ago that there was a part cut out of Shenmue 2 where the main baddie from the last game, who's called Chai, uh, snuck onto the boat and took captive a little girl, which is that little girl right there. And of course Ryo bit up Chai again and saved her. See, look at this part here. You were good to her on the ship when she was scared. I used to wonder what the hell does that mean? And I think they were trying to cover it up somewhat, but I, the truth is that Ryo saved her, you know. Okay, right. Bunch of places we could go right now, and we actually can't come back to this place, I'm pretty sure, after a while. But, meh. We're just gonna get on with this. In that free stay lounge, there's some homeless guy that talks like uh, Dumbledore. But you don't have to talk to him, and he just bugs me. And I just made a Harry Potter reference. I don't like Harry Potter! Right, and another cutscene! Seriously, I hope this copy doesn't crash at all, because I've had, I've had enough delays with this friggin' LP. <laughs> Oh dear. What do you want, boy? This guy looks trouble. Oh, don't give in to it, Ryo. You know where you know where to go. Ah, screw it. I'll do it to show you the mini game. Right, arm wrestling is just one of the many things you can do. There's not much to it. You just gotta tap A really, really, really fast. And there's sometimes QTE. But we won't be doing a lot of it. This is the only time we will be doing it, actually. But through like the world, there's places you can find it and get money for it. Samurai boy, Hazuki! Right Let's take him on. Right, so we just gotta tap A really, really fast when he says fight. Ready? Fight! Oh no, you don't! G Menazu! Crap! Ah, oh, I hate doing that! Yes. I hate tapping buttons! <laughs> oh, never mind, let's just take more money and get on with it. Right, and here's the second person who tells us where Wan Chai is. Right, off you go, Ryo. Hurry along. Right, let's take another few steps and another cutscene! This usually doesn't bug me that much, but like I've said, I've played for this so many times the last couple of weeks. It can get a little bit annoying. But here, this one's slightly relevant because we get to see one of the main characters in this game. And guess, guess what sort of role this character plays? She only emphasizes Ryo's harem boyness. Why are you asking her where Wan Chai is? Two people have told you already, Ryo! 
名前は？涼。涼。あたいはジョイ。まあ、ぜいぜいひったくりに気をつけな。All right then. Away you go with your red motorcycle shit.